Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. I'm coming to you today from Brethren, Michigan. And I want to take a look at one of my favorite verses in the book of Psalms, Psalm 29, verse 11. But we're going to start at the 10th verse, and the Bible says this. The Lord sitteth upon the flood. Now, flood in Scripture can have two connotations, basically. It can be a flood of evil that is sweeping across the land or sweeping across the world in the times that you and I are living in today. Or it can refer to a flood of the Holy Spirit. And either way you use that, either way you want to look at that in this particular capacity, it gives you a powerful point. Listen, the Lord sitteth on the flood, yea, the Lord sits king forever. So we know that even more than the glory when it comes down, even more than the trouble when it comes, the Lord is sovereign in all situations. He is king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people, and the Lord will bless his people with peace. You know, you and I today, maybe more than at any other time in human history, we need the peace of God. If we can have the peace of God residing in us, flowing through us, we can meet the challenges that the situations of today's world demand. We can, we can be salt, we can be light, we can lead others to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, but only if you and I can walk in the peace of God. It's a nerve jangling age and there's troubles everywhere. There's also great glory that God wants to pour out in this generation. And so today could be our finest hour if we'll let the Lord settle our hearts, give us peace, and we can hear the voice of God and what he wants us to do in this hour and then be obedient to it. I mean, that's just the bottom line, Christian. Wherever you are today, you see it first in the word, forsake not the assembling of yourself together, be obedient to it. Uh, pray for this person over here the Holy Spirit brings it up in compassion in your heart, then just be obedient to it. And you'll be surprised how much of a revival we can have in the midst of arguably one of the most ungodly generations that we have ever seen. But God's not through with people yet. He's not through with America. He's not through with his church. He sits king forever and he gives his people peace. Let's believe for it today, shall we? The peace of God that will rule and be the umpire, the Bible says, of our hearts in this time that we find ourselves. And let's believe him for a revival because revival is coming in Jesus' name. This is Brother Paxton from Brethren, Michigan. And I want to encourage you to just pick up the mantle of peace and go forth into your world today. God bless you.